Every day, 1,500 of us die from cancer. One in the 150 of our children has autism. Nearly every family is touched by a parent or grandparent facing Alzheimer's, and the list goes on and on. From my first days in the Senate, I fought for more money for medical research. The NIH is the crown jewel of the federal government. Nothing is more important than curing the diseases that damage our spirits, hurt our families, and take our lives. My own hard-won victory over cancer has given me more passion for this cause. I get it. On my watch on the Appropriations Committee, Funding for the National Institutes of Health has gone from $12 billion in 1996 to almost $30 billion. And I recently helped persuade Congress and the President to include another $10 billion in the Economic Stimulus Bill. But before I've acted, I've listened and learned. As my friend Michael J. Fox and others counsel me, more money alone won't get us faster cures we must reform a moribund bureaucracy that is strangling potential cures, failing to move breakthroughs in basic science from laboratories to the bedsides of ailing Americans. We must do this on the scale and with the focus on the way we sent astronauts to the moon, and we need to start now. Americans battling cancer, heart disease, autism, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and so many other dreaded diseases have not a minute to waste. I have introduced a bill aimed at untangling medical innovation. It's called the Cures Acceleration Network Act, or CAN. This plan will be an urgent focus of my campaign for re-election and of my next term in the Senate. Please learn more about how we can cure diseases by reviewing this site. And please help me make CAN the law of the land. I need you to email and call the Congress and the President, and I need you to donate here so that I can make this message heard loud and clear. I hope to have your help. You'll always have mine. Thank you.